Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to build some social icon buttons for your website. Alright so I think this is quite cool for you guys to add in your website so um, yeah let's start with this. So uh, I'm using my Visual Studio Code editor in here and I have just like a simple uh, HTML template without anything on it. If I'm going in here and I just open, as you can see, the page is completely empty. All right, so we are going to use, as you can see, all of these icons that we have in here. These icons are like fonts. They are almost called like font icons. And there is a lot of good reasons for, uh, for you guys to use them. And one of them is that uh, they are really lightweight. So if you are using, for example, regular images like JPEGs, PNGs or something like this, they will, if, if they are a, a bit, um, they have a, a quite a good size, you know, like uh, 300K or uh, something like this. All of these, um, all of these uh, images on your website, after, after a while, they might put your website a little bit slower. And if you are using these kind of font icons, they are rendering on the page as basically fonts and you can access them, like uh, give them a font size so you can increase them, decrease them. Uh, you can give them some colors. So there is a lot of good reasons to use them. And um, there is a lot of kind of providers, the free providers out there in the Internet. Some of the most popular are uh, uh, font awesome, there is iron icons, uh, there is moon icons.io, something like this. So there is a lot of them, but the one that I'm going to use is one of the most popular called uh, font awesome. So I'm just going to show you in here quickly. You go to Google and you put font awesome, okay? And this is the one, okay? So font awesomes, they have a lot of free icons that you can use straight away. Um, so to make it work on your website, what do you need is basically go to get started and you can either download the files that you need on your local, um, on your local uh, folder, or you can just basically grab this uh, CDN, this link CDN that is going to link directly to the servers that they have. So usually I just do this. I just grab this link that they have in here and basically I can start using the, the classes that they have straight away. So I'm going to put in here on my code on the bottom of the body. I'm going to paste this in here. Okay. So this means that I should be able to use the font awesome icons now. So let's say that I want now to start putting my social um, media icons. Like I said, we're going here to the top icons. And let's say that I'm looking now for uh, Facebook. So I'm going in here and I'm going to do Facebook. Okay. And there is all of these options. You got Facebook Square, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, and this other Facebook. So the one that I want is this one. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to open this page. And now in here, look, there is this code is an I element with a class of fab F a Facebook dash F. Okay. So if we copy this, I'm going to my visual studio. And I'm just going to paste this in. Okay. I paste this in. I save it. And oops, I'm going to just refresh my page. And here it is my first Facebook icon. Okay. Now I want, oops, this is the one. Um, I want to go in here again. And I want to look now for um, YouTube. Okay. So, YouTube, I want this one. I'm going to grab this as well. So I'm going to put this in here. Uh, I want the Twitter. So I'm going to go in here and Twitter. I'm going to grab this one. Just copy. Put in here. And finally, I just want uh, Instagram, for example, Instagram. So I'm going to copy this one. 
copy. Oops, and I'm just going to put this in here. All right, so let's just uh, now refresh the page. And here we have, we have all the icons that we want. And because, like I said, they are font icons, we can now style them. This is the, the, a really an amazing thing, okay? So uh, let me just, I'm going to put in here my, my CSS file. So I need to reference it. I have a, a CSS file in here called main.css. So it's in here, it's completely empty. First of all, uh, something that I do all the time in my files. So I'm just going to put everything to padding zero, margin zero, and box sizing border box. Okay. Uh, now, okay, I want to put this inside of, for example, if a navigation bar element. Uh, and inside of this navigation bar, I want to put a UL and a LI times four, I think. Okay. And in here, in here, um, I, I actually want to put a a element. So I'm going to put this in here. Um, wait, I'm going to just do this four times actually. And I'm going to put this in here because we want to click in each one of these icons and go directly to Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, or Instagram. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put this one in here. Just get rid of this. I'm just going to put this one in here, this one in here, and this one in here, and that should be it, okay? Now, I'm going to actually put this, uh, no, I have to put this in here, inside of my unordered list. I'm going to put this here, one more, and finally, this one. Let's see how does it look like now. Okay, now because we we are um, using an unordered list, they are all like this plain block. Okay, so let's fix this. Let's go in here and say our UL li is going to be a display inline block. So inline block. Okay. Let's refresh. Now they are all sitting next to each other. That's great. Uh, what else can I do? Now I actually want to go to my navigation bar and give it a background color of, um, let's say, light blue, for example. A padding on the top of um, 50 pixels and a padding on the bottom of 50 pixels as well. Let me refresh the page. And this is our navigation bar with 50 pixels on the top and 50 pixels padding on the bottom. Um, now, I want to give this actually like, um, like I have in here, some kind of uh, a border. Okay, let's go into our Visual Studio Code. So now I'm going to give this a background color of Dodger blue, for example. Um, I want to give a padding, a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. Okay, so that's looking better. I want my ULLIA to have a color of white, FFF. Let me refresh. That's looking much better now. Um, now, probably I want to push this into the middle. So to push this into the middle, um, I want my UL, probably is my UL, I want to have a display of uh, display of flex, 
and I want to justify the content uh, center. Um, no, act, yes, I want to. I want to go justify content center. All right, let me refresh. Now they are all stuck together in the middle. This is not what I want. So I'm going to give each one of these allies a margin on the top of zero, and maybe like five pixels left and right. Okay, that looks much better. I want that whenever I put my mouse over them, I want the cursor to be a pointer as well. I'm going to refresh, and if I put my mouse over, look, that looks much better. Uh, what else? What else can I do in here now? Um, ah, let me put this maybe a width of 100% of the parent and the height 100% of the parent. Let's see, how does it look like? Yeah, so we can actually get the link. So now, if I, I just want to put basically, whenever I hover with my mouse to change the background color. Uh, so whenever I hover my UL li, so UL li, hover, I want the back, ground color to change to maybe a royal blue. Let's refresh the page. And look, now it's changing the color. Yeah, but it's too fast for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here on my UL LI that whenever there is a transition, I want to target everything so the transition can be background colors, width, height, color, all of these kind of things. So I want to target all and I want this transition to take like 0 0.7 seconds and I want it to be at ease. So it, it means that it's a smooth transition. All right. Uh, so if I refresh the page, let's see. You see how, how smooth it is. But now I also want my icons to change the color. So I'm going to put in here uh, UL LI on hover. I want to target the anchor element. So this is the anchor element. OK. Uh, I want the color, which is for the text, to be, um, let's say, what, what can I do in here? Uh, yellow. Yeah, just for fun. So if I look, this is cool. Let's say now that whenever we hover, we also want to change the size of the icon. So if I put in here font size uh, 20 pixels, for example, I don't know how, how this is going to look like, but let's just try. Yeah, it, lo it doesn't look really good. So let me just get, get rid of this. But as you can see, you can. Um, ah, wait. No, it's fine. I don't want this. Um, what else? What else can we do in here? Um, so we, we got this. Let me just refresh. So this is fine. Actually, I want to keep in here my ULLIA. A, I want to give it a um, font size of 20 pixels because I want these to be the icons to be a bit bigger. OK, look, if I put 20 pixels, the icons are going to be a bit bigger as they are. If I put 30 pixels, 30 pixels, I refresh the page. Look, now they are even bigger. And finally, let's just add some kind of uh, um, links so http colon slash slash uh, twitter.com I think that's it and in here uh, the same and should be instagram.com let me see instagram let's refresh 
if I click in here, is open is opening um, Instagram, okay? And now, if I go in here and I press Twitter, I click on Twitter, it's opening my Twitter. All right, so <laughs> as you can see, guys, this was a quite easy and quick tutorial just to see how you can add icons to your website. And when I say like adding the social icon websites, there are so many other icons in here that you can look. Uh, look, there is an ambulance, there is Android, there is so many different icons that Amazon that you can use on your website that basically you can go in here and use these kind of icons in any project that instead of using regular images, you can just use these. All right, guys, so I hope you like this tutorial. It was quite easy and fast. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first uh, video. You know, share with your friends. Uh, we are almost at 3,000 subscribers very, very soon. So the, the channel is still growing. I will do some much more tutorials on JavaScript. I, I don't forget about you that you want to learn vanilla JavaScript as well. Uh, probably I'm going to do some tutorials on classes and objects to, to make it a bit more advanced. And yeah, I'll catch you with the next video, guys.